four dollars and fifty seven cents for this thing Ugh. I don't think so well, this probably unless it really uh, unless it really does something this will probably be my last one of these but I can't believe that you know I guess if people keep paying for it you can buy a pound of coffee some kinds of coffee for this same price you know I don't know I don't get it yeah, but I bought it didn't I started the week out this week with my friends the Lack family. Every year they come to Michigan around this time and do a concert where it's just uh, exclusive kind of friends in a, in a small venue and uh, I included some clips from that concert this week. So uh, we'll start out with one and then at the end, if you stick through to the end, you'll see I, I did about three more, just little clips of the songs. It is early in the morning, and I'm in Melbourne, Florida, which any place in Florida in and of itself is pretty cool, but I'm, uh, this is my weekend to have my kids. This is, this week, one of the downsides of trucking is that I'm supposed to be with my kids. And I'm out here, out here on the road. Next weekend, I got some stuff going on. Truck show in Northern Michigan. But any place in Florida is a good place, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, certainly there's parts you don't want to be in, but then there's, then there's here where I'm at, Melbourne's kind of pretty. I don't know anything about it. it. has mixed reviews on the internet. If you look at crime statistics, it's uh, pretty wild. It's the first one that I saw said Melbourne is not a place you want to be. But then, all the rest of them said how nice it is. So I was, I was reluctant to uh, come and stay here. And the guy that owns the place is wishing that I would have came in last night. I could have came in last night, but I don't think that I could have got here uh, during their business hours. And so, but he said it's cool to come here and spend the night. I'm just watching where I'm going, looking at the, the building because I've walked away for a minute. I don't want them to be out looking for me and me not be here. Like I said though, this is one of the downsides. It uh, doesn't happen often. AD is really uh, 
they like to get you home with your family. Uh, especially with me, I have scheduled visitations. And so this is kind of a fluke. But it was, um, you know, Monday was Labor Day. And in typical American fashion, uh, if it's a holiday about labor, we don't work. So I was, uh, I stayed home last Monday. And so we had a four-day week. I kind of was... Um, wanted to get something that had some miles with it so after this I'm going over to Tampa to load and then up to Elkhart, Indiana so so I won't be home with my kids this weekend I'm uh, keeping an eye on the, not on the truck but on the Maybe there's a little car like me. Uh, so when they bring my paperwork out, I can I can run over there. Ooh, the big truck coming. I'm gonna have to get out of his way because I think he's probably gonna have to pull into the spot I'm standing at. Yeah, that's a yes. Well, that's pretty sweet. I'm hoping maybe because he's he's backing into that spot, he'll be able to just throw a skid off right there. I've worked I've worked for companies that really didn't care that that I was uh, had kids or things going on. So, like I said, this week is a fluke. It's not a it's not the norm here at 80 Transport anyway, so. And to be in Florida, oh my God, I used to run uh, potatoes down for um, Frito-Lay. I'd pick them up in Michigan and bring them down here, and, and I came to Florida every week. And uh, that was, I love that. I love Florida. I love being down here. I like most everything about it. Uh, traffic sometimes is a little bit crazy but um, Florida is nice super nice and uh, so anytime I can get down here I like it I hate it though uh, when I got my kids and I can't be with them that I hate so like I said it's a fluke flow rider baby flow rider I'm hauling a hazmat load today, and uh, sometimes guys get frustrated when they can't get the, I've made a film about this before, but I think I screwed it up, but anyway, you know, they pull this out, then they can't get the, the thing won't move, of course this one's moving, so they, they destroy, they pull on this thing and just destroy it, and I'm going to, I'm going to show you the secret to doing these, and it's it's so simple it ain't funny. First, go get you some of these gloves. They have the rubber on them. And watch, watch close. You push up, and they come right out. Let's see if this one does it a little better. Of course, I'm going to do it. Oh, there we go. Wow. See if one of these will go any better. Okay. Rubber gloves. I notice I have not even opened that. I'm gonna just push. I'm gonna push up. If you look, it ripples. It's not hard. Let's see if this one will do it. Notice that's closed. Yeah, you as well. That is not hard. I'll try this other one up here. See how this goes. Once again, that's closed. Rubber gloves. Push up there. 
Now that's easy. I'm doing it one-handed. If you had two hands to do it with, imagine how nice that would be. That would uh, it would be spectacular. But you gotta instead of tearing your equipment up, you gotta you gotta do it the easy way. So I took eight placards off of my truck. A little noisy here. Garbage man. I took eight placards off my truck with one hand and never opened any of the placard holders. So there's no excuse for tearing that stuff up. No excuse at all. And I'll make another video sometime where I use both hands rather than just one hand. And uh, I didn't tear nothing up. I didn't touch the placard holder really. I just pushed up on the bottom of the placard and it, it folded out in the middle and I reached up and grabbed it. So, a whole lot easier than tearing it up. And you look a little smarter when you get done doing it. Yeehaw.